When my stem cell journey began, I knew nothing about stops along the way. One of the first things I learned was that bone marrow is a great abundant source of stem cells, but the problem is you've got to get that bone marrow, which means digging deep either into a hip or the breastbone, the sternum. The common procedure is known as an aspiration. What they do is they put a needle into your chest, then they put it in deeper, and then put it into your sternum, your breastbone. And when they pull back the plunger, the plunger as it were, they pull out blood and stem cells. It's not a great pleasure. Uh, we are sitting in a treatment room on West 57th Street getting ready for a bone marrow aspiration. It's something I have contemplated and worried, worried about for about a week, make that two weeks, and um, I'm hoping the anticipation is worse than the reality. Essentially what I'm going to do is we're going to take marrow the bone marrow has two types of stem cells. One are bone marrow, bone derived stem cells that they make your red blood cells, white blood cells. So we call those hematological stem cells. And the second type, type of stem cells are called mesenchymal stem cells, which we talked about in the Vatican. The mesenchymal stem cells is what we're going to purify out of his whole marrow, which Dr. Harris is going to do in the laboratory. And once we get a pure culture, 99% will actually expand them so you'll have about 50 million of these. And we are going to then make aliquots of 1 million cells and freeze them in liquid nitrogen. So we have an endless supply for the rest of your life for stem cells. So you don't have to do this horrible procedure every time, all right? It's not going to be horrible, I promise you. It's 90 seconds and that's it. And, but then uh, we're going to take your mesenchymal stem cells and transform them into brain stem cells or brain progenitors or neural progenitors. And when we have a pure sample and we've tested them for about 30 genes and also tested them for malignancy and everything else, we'll inject neural stem cells into your spinal fluid. And how do you do that? That's, a spinal, that's just putting in a spinal needle and having the cells delivered to us about 30 minutes before and just injecting it into your spinal fluid. And we hope to inject about 2 to 5 to 10 million cells into your spinal fluid. And then we hope that in 5 months after that, hopefully, you start improving. Not staying at a plateau, but improving. And then hopefully, we will at least, you'll at least commit to at least 3 treatments. You know, so every 3 or 4 months we'll do a treatment. And my hope is that you stop using a cane. I thought it would be great to record this and put it on this blog because I think we all know that stem cell therapy exists. I think we believe it somewhere in the future when in fact things are happening now. Uh, and I think we know nothing about the process. And I think the more we can show it, the more we can demystify it, and the more that we can demonstrate that anybody could go through it, the more people will reach out and try it because I think in the end, stem cell therapy is the future. I get an anesthetic on the skin. Mm -hmm. um, there are no nerves inside. You know, I mean, there's no pain when it goes in beyond that. And the only discomfort, pain, whatever you choose to call it, is the aspiration, which and, is about 90 seconds. And what, can I ask? You, what the aspiration, what that feels like? Um, I've heard that it feels like uh, pressure or a, a crushing sensation. It's just unexpected, uh, but it shouldn't be painful. Okay, thank you. Hi, I'm Dr. Sarah. Hi, I'm Richard. How are you, Richard? Nice to see you. Nice to see you. Hey, I'm Meredith. Richard's Hi, wife. Nice to meet you. All right. Once I'm in there, I'm going to take blood from the bone marrow in two parts. I'll take a small amount the first time and a larger one which is a stem cell collection. <clears throat> when I would aspirate the blood, the, the sucking action can be perceived as a crushing sensation sometimes. 
it's not that difficult or bad, but nothing is being crushed, nothing is being broken. Sure. It's just a perception. So don't be scared. Okay. And, and it goes away after that. That's it. After I'm done, you will have no pain at all. Very few patients have some tenderness for a few days and it goes away. That's the bottom line. Yeah. Deal. And as long as it's done properly, there is no danger from this procedure. Of course, if somebody goes through the bone, there will be trouble, but it doesn't happen. <laughs> Okay. All right. Any questions? No, sir. Let's go. Okay, let's go. One of the nice things about this procedure was that it was a family affair. The two people shooting it with cameras were Meredith, my wife, and Gabe, my son, who just graduated from Northwestern and was going to be a journalist. And it was tough enough to go through this, but it was really nice to have my family around me. It's actually a very short procedure. It probably only took about 10 minutes, but they were pretty long minutes. Okay, now I'm going to cover your chest and part of your face with this. So probably what you would like to do is to turn your face on the right so this doesn't go on your nose directly. Good. All right, are you okay? Sure. Good. Is this so I can't see? You could see if you want to, but I don't want you to breeze over the place where I am going to be working. Oh, I see. Okay, a little prick in the skin here. You felt okay. that? Okay. You're going to have some anesthesia in the skin, all right? How are we doing? I'm doing great. Good. Okay. That's some deeper anesthesia, all right? You got it. How's it going? It's fine. Very good. That one's out now. Okay? Yep. You okay? I'm fine. Okay, good. That's a bit more anesthesia. It's a little bit more going in there. Any pain over here? A little prep. How about now? Do you feel anything? Yeah. You do? I do. You feel it? I now, feel it. Richard, you'll feel that I'm touching you and I'm doing something, but what we hope that you don't feel is any prick or pain well, sensation. I, I feel the prick. Mm -hmm. How about now? Do you feel anything? Beside pressure? No. Good. You're doing great. How are we doing? We're doing fine. All right. Any pain now? No. Good. You're going to feel I'm touching you, of course, but it shouldn't be painful. Okay. Mm-hmm. All right. Good job here. Yeah, doing very well. It probably looks as if they were opening a bottle of wine. It wasn't quite that much fun. It didn't really hurt that much, but there was a lot of pressure in my chest. When the doctor said, okay, we're going to begin the aspiration, I thought, oh my goodness. How are we doing? We're okay. All right, I'm going to take some blood from the bone marrow now. And you might feel this pressure I told you about. Don't be scared, all right? Is this the mass, the aspiration? Yeah, that's the aspiration now, the first one. You felt it? Yeah. All right. Remember, there's nothing really happening. All right. It's just a perception. That's one down. Okay. So it's not really happening. Thank you, Mom. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to be helpful. There's some big things sticking out of your chest. 
He's trying to great. be calm. He's doing just <laughs> perfect. So we're going to take now, this is a stem cell collection, all right? So this is the big one. That's a big okay. one, but it shouldn't be so bad. How do you feel? So far, so good. Perfect. But it's flowing very nicely. I have to admit that I had been dreading this procedure because I believed that the aspiration when they pulled back the plunger on the needle was very painful. It really wasn't painful, but there was a very strong pressure on your chest. It was described as a crushing pressure. I didn't feel that. I mean, usually it's going to be a normal examination. The second is really all of it used for the stem cell. I see. So all of this now is for stem cell. Yeah, all of this good stuff here. Wow. Do you feel pressure, Richard? What do you feel? A little sharp pain, but not bad. No. You're almost done here. A couple of seconds and you'll be done. Wow, it moves fast. Perfect. I got a great specimen for you here. Wow. All right, plenty of little stem cells in it here. Done. Okay. Richard. Are we done? Yeah, well, yeah. we got to take the thing out. That's it. You're done. And I worried about this for two weeks. <laughs> you did. And then the procedure was done. It hadn't really been so bad. It probably looked a lot worse than it was, but it wasn't exactly a form of recreation. You know, one of the things about having a serious illness is we want to be cured and we want the doctor to do it without hurting us. It doesn't always work that way. And sometimes you've just got to deal with the reality that with pain comes a little bit of progress and maybe hope. 